Hi guys, we're back in the workshop and we are making a start on the battery boxes which will house all of the battery packs that we've managed to take out of the Nissan Leaf. So we will um, take you through how we're thinking of doing that and where we've got to so far on it. Um, but before we do, if you can click the subscribe button below and also the little bell so you get notifications of when our next video is coming out. All right, so now we've got the batteries into packs of 12. Um, we need to bolt them together to keep them safe and then also stick them in boxes so that we can package them around the car. Um, so the way I'm going to do this is using these factory plates. So these are the standard Nissan Leaf plates and they came sort of bolted like that when the batteries were bolted from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to use them because we've got them already. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of threaded bar. 8mm threaded bar, bar that I'm going to run through the batteries like that. They've got holes in each corner, so there's four in that row, four in that row. So I'll have uh, eight, eight sets of threaded bar running through the batteries that will then tie this plate to the one on the back and bolt it all together. Once I've got it like that, I'll actually do it separate for safety, but basically I've got plate there which is this edge along here and I've got some some flat bar and I'm gonna weld the flat bar onto the edge like that give myself a buffer at the top and a buffer at the bottom um, and then that is gonna give me something sort of like that that will allow me to slot this whole pack into a prefabricated box based on the dimensions from this corner to that corner and all the way around. Um, and what it means is I'll have an air gap all the way around top and bottom and around all the four sides. And I'll have one unit that, that I can drop straight in the box, put the lid on and then mount that. So first job is I need a lot of flat bar chopping and I need a lot of threaded bar chopping so that we can get these, um, these four packs all bolted together, ready to drop into a box. So that's next up. So we've got a load of sheet metal work back now from laser cutting and folding. Uh, I drew these up on the computer uh, to suit the battery packs that we'd ended up with, um, which now is three instead of four. Uh, obviously this one's quite a large one that's going to go in the tub. Um, and basically they're folded up. I've got ends which go on there like that. Um, they'll be welded up. And then got a few other bits. So once that's well done, we'll have a flange that goes on there like that. Uh, and then also um, a plate that lends the lid. Uh, and we'll have a box. Uh, there's three of those. Got a, a standing up on there. That's the one that's going to go in the front. Uh, this is the one that's going to go in the back. And then there's a third one that's going to go sort of um, just the other side of that bulkhead. So, a bit of fabric work, fabrication work to do now, start gluing these together. is tacked up now um, and looking like boxes so time to build them up. Thank you. 
So here's one of the battery boxes and that's its intended position, um, which is above the transfer box, obviously under the seat box. I've literally just dropped it in there, but in there very quickly. It's Friday evening and I want to go and have some dinner. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be super tight in there, like properly, properly tight. I'm, uh, I'm a bit nervous of coming back tomorrow morning and finding out it doesn't fit. So, that might be a bit of a snag, but we'll see. And then I've got the other one down here where I was just putting the battery pack into the box or the box over the battery pack. Um, and it's a tight fit, which is what I had intended to be fair. Um, it's just a little bit too tight. So now it's stuck um, and I'm gonna worry about that tomorrow. So big ones there, that's gonna go in the tub. Not too fussed about that, I think that'll be great. Um, so yeah, see what tomorrow brings. Go on and tell us oh, okay. where we're at. So we've managed to fit this one in, like mocked it up basically. So, um, and it's tight, it is very tight, but it does fit. So once the seat box is uh, bolted into position, there is clearance at the back. And at the front, it just about clears the transfer box um, once it's all down and in place. So, um, like we said, it is very, very tight, but it does fit, which is good. So, next job is going to be uh, get the seat box back out of the way and uh, get welding in some permanent mounts for the battery box. now um, in place and also the floor panel as well which is really cool because it actually fits <laughs> nice and snug um, we need to now take everything back off so we can um, weld up the sort of brackets that hold it in place um, properly um, but yeah that's a good old chunk done so yeah happy days to bat battery box number two. Uh, this is the one in the front, obviously, so we're at the front of the car. Uh, second one we're all happy with. So this one, doing much of the same, running a couple of pieces uh, of box section between the chassis rails for it to sit down onto. Um, and then we'll weld the sort of the base plate to the box section. And then this cover will bolt down on top of that. Um, and that, that encases the battery then. Um, and that'll keep it watertight. So, a uh, few things going on here. Obviously, it's still quite a, a, a big box, same size as the other one, just a different orientation. Um, and we've got a few things going on here. Obviously, we've got the front panel. Behind the front panel is going to be a radiator to call the motor and the inverter. So, we've still got that to factor in. Um, behind the box, obviously, is the motor. So, we've got to uh, account for that. And then, obviously, there's the bonnet over the top. Now we've sunk it below the top of the chassis rail to clear the bonnet and we've got loads of room there, that's fine. Um, and we've shoved it as far forward to this chassis rail um, and then we'll shove it over that way a little bit as well. Um, so that gives us clearance from the motor and down this side we've got to bear in mind there's a, 
a steering relay. So the steering relay goes in there, and then there's a, a link rod um, on this side. Um, and then for clearance, further clearance on the motor, we've had to tilt the box because when it was sat flat, perfectly flat, it was just touching one of the water outlets on the motor. So you can just see here, we've just leaned it forward to me just to give us some good clearance on there. Um, and that's worked out just right, actually. I don't mind it being on an angle either. Um, so radiator should still go in there. We've put the front cover on and there's a good few inches in front of the front cover. Um, so yeah, I think that'll go in there nicely. Uh, so if we rip that off, let's see what I've done, what I'm in the process of doing. So that's the, the base panel and that will weld to these two box sections and then that cover bolts onto there. Under there I've just tacked in now two pieces of box section that aren't going to interfere with anything else underneath it so the diff can still come up. Uh, not that it should come that far uh, with the bump stops anyway but it's not like it's going to hit the bottom of anything so there's a good amount of clearance there uh, and this side for the motor. It's not going to interfere with the steering relay or anything like that so we've got plenty of room. So I can crack on now, weld these in, weld that to that and we're away. So now with the front two or the middle one and the front one done, we're on to the third battery box, which is this one in the rear here. <clears throat> now originally we we planned not to have a, a battery pack here and it was going to be under the chassis um, uh, and distributed elsewhere. Um, but for simplicity, uh, mostly to be honest with you, uh, we've opted to keep the original battery pack from the Nissan, the rearmost one. Um, in one piece as it was and put it here in the back of the tub um, not ideal not my first option at all but needs must uh, and at a later date we can look at, at changing that when we've got a bit more knowledge about uh, the wiring side of things uh, and we've got a bit more time as well to package stuff a bit neater because um, it because it is a lot of a lot of batteries and there's not much space left now we've taken up those two big places um, it was a lot tougher. So we've opted with this. So that's the, the box built that will take all 24 of the remaining um, modules uh, in their existing mounting configuration. So it literally will just drop straight in there. We haven't got to mess around with any wiring or additional wiring or anything like that. It'll just drop straight in. Lid will go on. And then um, eventually I think what I'm going to do is clad this out um, with a bit of timber, I think. Uh, and we'll try and disguise that and make it look um, look like it's meant to be there and it's not an afterthought. Um, originally I was really, I really didn't want to do that and because um, I just think it, it's, it's a lazy thing to just dump it in the tub and, and, um, and not do it properly and pack it away. But unfortunately, doing it the way I do want to do it, I could do with knowing a bit more about the wiring. I could do with having some some proper crimping tools and stuff like that to really make it a, a good job um, and then after a bit of thought and looking at um, sort of other engine conversions and stuff like that when you look at LPG a lot of people put a tank in the back and it's not the end of the world a lot of people have a spare wheel there and, and crates and stuff like that and there's still a good amount of room in here anyway um, which to be fair is only going to be for the dog anyway um, so it's not terrible and in the future we can we can change them and move them around um, so the battery pack is this one here as i mentioned that is unmodified now um, entirely and it is as it came out of the nissan pack so you've got a bit of mess on this side 
and it's wiring. There's a temp sensor on the back here, closer to me. Obviously, that's all the buzz bars and everything. So we're literally now going to pick that up, drop it in the tub, um, and cross here. We've got some mounting holes, and we've we've welded some box section into our box that, that will allow that to sit on, and we can just fire some bolts straight in. No messing around. It's an easy option. We'll pop a hole in it to let the wiring out and that's it, so that's up next. So that's it, that's the battery boxes all made up and mounted so they're ready to take some battery packs and be painted uh, which will come after wiring. Thank you very much for watching, uh, hopefully what we did made a little bit of sense and, and uh, wasn't as chaotic as it felt. Uh, check us out in the next video when we'll be tackling the wiring which is definitely the worst bit um, and uh, yeah thank you. Don't forget to also uh, click the subscribe button below and the little bell so you get notifications of when that next video is coming out.